Happy holidays everyone, my name is Shoa and today we are drawing a upgraded version of last week's drawing. Last week's drawing was done several months ago. This week's drawing was done over the course of five days in the past week or so. So I went to the place where all little girls' hopes and dreams come from, Pinterest, and found this spectacular pose that I was going to try and replicate. So I hope you guys are proud of me. I didn't cheat this time. I didn't trace the figure, even though this figure was severely harder. I have been working on my anatomy for the, over the past couple of months, and hopefully it's gotten better, noticeably or not noticeably. Then we moved the full body a little bit off center and put him on an axis because my art teacher always told me that anything dead in the center is poor composition, and he was very much dead in the center. Then we finished the sketch up with the helmet and the signature cape. Then we blocked in the colors and started shading the legs. Moving on from the legs and body, we shaded the torso and arms, then we shaded the cape, which was surprisingly easy and turned out quite good for the amount of effort I put into it. Before anyone asks where I got the reference for these spectacular muscles, all I did was look in the mirror. Don't ask questions. Don't question it. Uh, I came back several times to the torso to fix up certain things and make it look more defined, even though it's pretty defined here. But some of the arms always needed a little bit more highlights and a little bit more d definition because they, they were looking a little loose in the end. I played around with some f effects for most of the drawing. I added in that signature little circle that was on his hand, that little detail that was on the original drawing. And I added a really cool electric effect whip coming out of his arm, which I thought was pretty cool. Then we moved on to the trauma-inducing cape. Uh, for those of you who weren't here for last time, the cape took me over well over two or three hours to do. And this time it only took around 45 to 50 minutes, which was amazing. And I'll let you guys decide in the comments which one you liked better, this cape or last week's cape. Here we're just doing up a little bit more folds, a little bit more creases on the cape. Moving on, we did the fur on the coat, fur that is attached to the cape, but not attached to the helmet. Uh, this was a very fun part, and I had a lot of fun doing the hatching and then putting on an overlay layer, and it just all came together so quickly, and it was very, it was very surprising how well it turned out for, for the just suggestions of details that were put in. However, this did bring my stroke count up from around from around like 4,000 to like 4,500, 4,700, just from the fur alone. Moving on, we started shading the helmet. The helmet was a very tricky piece. It took a lot of iterations and a lot of basically sanding down with the, with some interesting sh uh, smudging brushes. I like the results that came out, even though I couldn't tell you if I tried how to replicate it. I just used a combination of several different brushes to smudge uh, the basic shading that was done. I played around with the helmet quite a bit in this drawing. I eventually just settled for a classic shaded helmet with highlights. However, I will leave all the iterations of the helmet in to see if you guys liked any of them. Here we went back to the chest a little bit and shaded a little bit more. We went back to the pants, shaded a little bit more, made some things darker, made some things lighter. And finally it was time to get that final iteration of the helmet in and then we finished. Here we have the final drawing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and stay safe and enjoy your holiday.